We're at 416 Evergreen Street, the Morgan residence. We have a two-story gable style roof, a 20-year composition shingle. The predominant pitch is a 712. We also have 1012, sorry, 1212 on the right and left gable. We have five inch gutters. We do have aluminum gutter guards. We have drip edge and felt. We have standard composition ridge shingle, aluminum ridge vents. There are eight of them totaling 45 feet, eight inches on the highest elevation. And then we have 25 feet, six inches on the lower elevation. There is no collateral on either elevation. The ridge metal is clean. There are no hail damages to this roof. We do have one missing shingle coming on the front slope being the south side. These are the front slopes of the home. We have the rear slopes of the home being the north side. We have the left being the west, the right being the east. The insured's main concerns are the interior leaks, which I believe to be coming from the chimney flashing number one as you can see there's no cricket here pushing the water around the sealant around the step flashing is very old and you can see straight down into it there are also many many nail pops on this roof a lot of the nails were shot right into the joints and the wrong nails were used for installation you can see here there's another nail pop here there are many nails backing out of the aluminum ridge vents which when the insured explained to me they have a leak that extends the full length of the garage i assumed that the ridge vents would be the main cause, but you can see the type of nail here is just not correct. And you can see how high up on the shingle it is there. But any of these little circles on the roof, these are all nail pops. Most of them pushing through the shingle, damaging the shingle. So I do believe that between the ridge vents, the chimney flashing, all of these nail pops that are on the roof and the exposed pipe vents that we have, you can see the rubber is completely torn. Both pipe vents are the exact same. The boots are torn and exposed. Again, more nail pops. And we do have a buckle in the decking here towards the ridge. The decking is pushing up. And then again, you can see all the circles on the roof. These are all nail pops that have come all the way out through the shingle. And the pipe vent down on the lower elevation as you can see is completely exposed as well again we're at 416 evergreen street the morgan residence there's no hail damages to this roof we do have a wind damage shingle on the front slope of this roof 
and that is everything that is on this roof. 